Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining me for Technology Tip Thursday. This is Sekou Tyler, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Canva to create wireframing. So in the last video, I showed you kind of a one-on-one -on -one introduction to wireframing. In this video, I'm gonna go a little bit more specific into Canva and how you can leverage it, the pricing, and just different things that you can do with Canva. So let's go ahead and hop into it. This is Canva, and it's a really cool, pre-baked template type of tool where you can do a lot of great things. Uh, you can do a lot of things as whiteboard, documentation, create YouTube banners. I actually use it for a number of things. I know a lot of people use it for social media as well, but I don't think people leverage it for wireframing and dashboarders. So that's where I wanna go and kind of show you how to create this and leverage it yourself. So the biggest piece that you wanna do is when it comes to designing, you want to understand the width and height of which that you are de designing towards and then build upon that. So if we were to come in here and select create a design, we come in here and pretty much pick the design that we want to use. And so for this example, we're going to do 16 by 9, which is the standard design width and size within Power BI. So come in here and select 19 by 20 and by 9. Uh, we're going to open this design in Canva app. We could do that, but I'm going to keep it on the actual browser itself right now. One thing about Canva is that it does have a desktop application, so that's really awesome. And then your stuff does get saved to the cloud. And if you want to resize the stuff that you're using, there is a licensing structure piece to it here. I think you could do it anyway without it, but if you see this crown um, being highlighted, then that means that it is a paid feature. So there is a different licensing model for Canva. There is a free license and then a pro license and then a team license. And I can walk through that after this video is over. But here's what you would do to, to resize your presentation. So if you want to do 10 by 80, 19 by 20, 12, 80 by 720, you can do that as well. Or if you just want to hard code and type it in, you can do that also. And then now you can come in here and actually start creating stuff. So if you wanted to do different styles or layouts or have everything brought in, you can do that. You can also bring in elements as well. So if I were to come in here and look at an element, I can actually start bringing a bar chart in here and I can start my wireframing process. So I can do that. I can actually type in data itself. So if I want to change the series of it and then change the name, the name of it, I can do that. So I can say apples and bananas and so on and so forth. You get the gist of it and it gets updated within my report. And so now I can start leveraging that. If I want to add another chart, I can add a circle chart and then I can add Again, more data stuff, percentages. I can do a label in here if I want. So there's a lot of stuff in here that you can do to quickly customize your wireframe, your visualization, and start that process of low fidelity to high fidelity to create a wireframe using Canva. Another cool thing in here is that there are a lot of templates. So if we go into Canva, if we go to templates itself, again, I have a pro account, so there's a lot of different things here, but you can see there's a lot of pre-built templates that you can already use. If you just go in here and go to templates dashboard, you will see a lot of stuff that's already canned out. So in this example, let's just say we'll use the gray and purple one. You can see that this is already built out for you. It has a navigation. Um, it has that pro license that I was talking about earlier. If you come in here and go to customize this template, it will now be available for you to customize. So you can come in here and update the data as I showed you earlier, update this, your text box, so on and so forth. So you have the flexibility to change this navigation and really use the icons and everything. So kind of helps that process of getting from zero to a actual product into the customer hands a lot faster. A lot of great stuff people are doing in Canva is really cool. So this is how you can create a wireframe in Canva. Have you all doing this? What are you all using? Have you used Canva for anything else? You know, hit me up in the comments, let me know, but this is a great starting tool. And let's talk about licensing actually, before I forget. So we go to licensing, plan and pricing. We see there's a free one, so you can get that free pro and then teams. So there's different pricing structures here. It tells you exactly what it is. Uh, Canva, $0. One person is $199, and I think it's like you can split it out by month. So it's like $11 a month. Or if there's multiple people, you can do $150, so you can have a joint team to do it. And it's just a lot of cool stuff. So it makes just things a lot easier. And then teachers in schools as well, 
um, you can get a discount if you're a teacher or a school district as well. So something to look into makes it great. I think there's a lot of fantastic stuff you can do, especially with dashboard and wireframing. So hit me up in the comments. Let me know if you're all are using this. And otherwise, I will talk to you all next Technology Tip Thursday, where I'll show you another tool where you can do more wireframing. Thank you.